I, when I, when I hear you talk about the injuries and I look at my own career and obviously not at the world level, but some of the best success that I had was coming off of injuries. And I spent a lot of time over the years talking with my trainer, who's a really good friend of mine. And, um, I think there's something to be said for rest. And I think rest in, in all the, you know, education that I've had over the years and all the things that I enjoy studying and following now, rest is still the biggest problem for athletes, athletes, coaches, people just, it's, it's built into us to do more, go faster, do harder, yeah. do more. Yeah. And even when somebody says, Hey, you need to rest. Athletes just don't feel comfortable with rest. You know, they don't think like they're doing enough. And sometimes that injury makes you rest. It, it makes where you can't do what you think you need to do. And then maybe they went into that 2021 world championships with, you know, they, they healed up and maybe they got their conditioning wasn't the best, but because they let their body and their, their mind kind of rest, I think maybe that's what it could have been. For sure. And also, also on this level, you know, if you train so much and everything, like for the most of them, the conditioning, it doesn't matter. You know, if you rest one week extra or whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, and, and but also, as you said, this is what we are used to. Like we used to push hard and also in judo, like you, even if you should do some training, it shouldn't be that hard. You still do it hard because you want that same feeling, you know, that you get in Randoris or in the fights, like you want to be, like you want to be tired. You want to feel like when you lead the training, you want to be tired. Right. But many times when you come from training, you shouldn't be tired because maybe you should work on your power or some other technical skills or whatever. And this, this, I also try to change throughout the years. Like, you know, we have a problem, training problem. Today, we train really, really hard. Today, we don't train. We rest, then we rest. But we train these other things, then we do it with this uh, intensity we should do. Not always pushing the, the, the roof, you know, because in the end, this is not going to... It's going to make us tired, but it's going to make us better. Probably not. I mean, all we have to do is we have to do everything we do to get better. And this is also a challenge for me as a coach, because... Also, I have to adapt to it, you know, okay. Always we go to a training camp, for example. You think now we're in a training camp, we have all these good partners, we want to do as much as we can. Because we want to use the time very well. We spend a lot of money, we spend we want to use it. Yeah. Okay, when you're young, we can do it because they can recover faster. They're not maybe so much injuries, but now nowadays we have to think more. Like so, what I do is we go to the same amount of camps, maybe more camps, but we do less in each camp. I see. try to really put the quality in and to, to make sure they get good quality, but also get the rest between between the, the, the rounds, etc. And some somehow people think uh, this mentality that you always have to work hard and you have to, you should, you have to, but you also must listen to your body because it doesn't matter if you train so hard, you, if you don't have a development, like it has some athletes you know they train so much for many years but they have no development then you train too much we train completely wrong and in the end nobody pays you for that they That's pay you to bring a medal and this for you maybe this way to get the medal is different to the other person especially when you get older it's not the same i would say more or less the first years for them like three four five years the program was quite similar for everybody like we have some individual changes, of course, but yeah. in general, the program was the same because I want to develop them as a group. Like I wanted to feel the strength in, okay, now we have one athlete, he's doing good result, or she doing a good result. We can all do it because we have the same program. We have the same uh, uh, thinking behind it. And this worked, this worked good. But now we still try to, I still try to keep the same um, base, like you say, where we go. Like we try to do the same competitions, the same tournaments, uh, the same training camps. But then we have to do it more individualized because, of course, they, they, they have bigger other issues now than they had before. Right. Still, I try to keep it together as a team because I don't like this idea, you know, okay, now I'm so good. I can go there. Like, no, we do it together. And of course, if somebody is good in a qualification, they can do less tournaments. Of course, they don't have to push if somebody is trying to qualify, but but we try to keep it together to to, to make the same uh, program. This I see is maybe in some countries they don't do it. You, know, you send somebody by themselves there, somebody by themselves there. This happened in my time, for example. In my last years, I was an athlete, like there was no team, you know. We, everybody went by themselves. Then we see somebody, see, we see, we go together sometimes to some tournaments and the world championships, maybe. But that's why you were hanging out with me. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then when you come to the world championships, you, you know that everybody is there. Some is not prepared at all. Some has done super much. Some has done maybe middle, but there, where, where is the confidence? You know, yeah. if you go there as a team, you know, we've done this together. We've done a similar program and we, we, we support each other and we try to do the best of it. And if somebody succeeds, we can see, okay, we did this. Now we, you can do it also. Yeah. This is also because we're coming to this medals. Okay, now we had the medals, but before we were close many times. We were fifth place a couple of times. And uh, in, in 2019, we were two times fifth places. In, in, so we didn't have the last push, but it's, it was still there, you know, and we tried just to push it on and on. And we tried to do some things a little bit better, a little bit more clever. And in Budapest, it, it felt it, it, come, it come the right way. Yeah. And we had the medal finally. 